Hey there, welcome back to Breakfast at Tracy's, my breakfast club. I'm glad you're here. We are continuing on in our series about Christmas, opening the greatest gift together. And it is my privilege that you are here joining us. And thank you for all those of you who are sharing these and commenting on them and asking questions. That is just so good. I love that. I love hearing from you. Today, we're looking at an identity like no other. Again, another passage, another prophecy from Isaiah. Isaiah is filled with messianic prophecies. And here's one. It says, for a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. And here we see, if you look at it very carefully, how all the members of the Trinity are sort of represented in these titles that the Messiah is going to get. The counselor, well, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is called the counselor in the New Testament. And of course, it has the term God, which encompasses all three, Father, Son, and Spirit. Then we see, obviously, the Father, uh, the Everlasting Father, the Prince, uh, of peace, which Peter refers in Acts chapter 5, refers to Jesus as the prince. And, and so here we have all the, the members of the Trinity represented in the Messiah. And we see that this Messiah is going to be a benefit to everyone as a counselor. I love that. This is, he is going to be a deity with power, the eternal head of the family as, as father and eternal as well. Uh, bringer, he's the bringer of uh, peace, which will be uh, eventual, but also permanent. He's going to bring permanent peace to the world. And the, he is the child, as a child, as a soul leader. In his very nature, the government is placed on his shoulders. Now, I, I personally love working with teams. I think you know, I have a staff team, my board is a team, and when it comes to making decisions, I don't like making decisions on my own. I like having a team around me because my team thinks of things that I don't think of. But with this Messiah, this king that is going to rule, there's no need for a team. The entire government will rest on his shoulders. Isn't that amazing? He's not gonna have a team, he's not gonna have a cabinet. Why? because he's perfect, because he has complete wisdom in himself. So Jesus came to create a family, a nation, and a kingdom. In him is ultimate belonging. There is no hierarchy in this kingdom. The first will be last and the last will be first. There will be fairness and justice in this kingdom. With the justice, there'll be no racism, no sexism, no tribalism. There'll be justice in this kingdom. And it says Jesus' passionate commitment will make this happen. His passionate commitment can be traced all the way back to the promise that he made to Abraham to bless all people. That there'll be a new heaven and a new earth, a new kingdom. And we can be grateful for Jesus' passionate commitment to rescuing us. I mean, he never gave up on us. Isn't that amazing? Where would we be without his passionate commitment to rescuing us, to rescuing you? So today, I just want you to give thanks for this passionate commitment of the Messiah, that he was determined, and that God gave us, there was a child born, it says a child born to us. A son is given to us. This is, this is the gift that God gives. And his passionate commitment was the impetus, the, the, the motivation for rescuing humankind, including you and including me. Isn't that great? Oh, we can celebrate our, our God with passionate commitment today. 
Let's pray. Lord, we want to celebrate you. We worship you, that you are a God of passionate commitment, that you wanted to rescue humankind. We thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.